Did you know that the universe is flying apart? And it's getting faster all the time. Professor Brian Schmidt is here to tell you why. Space is really big, and that's what I study. So I try to study how the universe works, what is going to happen in the future to it. What I discovered is that the universe is getting bigger faster and faster over time. The way I do that is I go out and I look at stars. Actually, I actually don't look at stars. I look at galaxies that are much further away than stars. So we live in a galaxy, the Milky Way. Have you ever seen when you look up on a really dark night, you can see that fuzzy cloud? That's billions of stars that you're seeing, all merged into a mess because you can't see one from the other. So our Milky Way has a hundred billion stars. hundred billion stars. That's a lot. That's a one with eleven zeros behind it. It's a lot of stars. And our Milky Way is one billions of galaxies we can see in the sky. So what I do is I go out and I look at these galaxies. And it's really interesting because all the galaxies are moving away from us. The faster the galaxies are moving away from us, the further away they are. And so that's why we think the universe is expanding. Like when the Big Bang exploded, the universe was like created and then it was um, expanding and expanding faster and faster. So imagine the universe is, is expanding. I want you to look at all those stars, right? Now I'm going to blow the universe up. Now did you notice that all the stars moved away from all the other stars? So imagine we're right here and we're looking out. What would we see? As the universe expanded, the nearby stars, they only moved a little bit. The distant stars, well, they moved a lot, right? If I let all the air out and look back to the past, things were really close and they're very far away. So if I could measure the speed that the things are moving away, those things would be moving away really quickly, the more distant ones. Well, that's what we see in the universe. We see that everything's moving away from everything else. And what I was able to do with a group of astronomers is to measure how that was happening back in time. And I can look back in time as an astronomer because light takes time to reach me. So when I look at the nearest star, I see it 4.3 years ago. So if someone said hello right now on Alpha Centauri, I wouldn't know about it for 4.3 years. But when I look at really distant galaxies, I can look billions of years into the past. I can look back before the dinosaurs. I can even look back before the Earth was formed. And I can measure how fast the universe is stretching apart now and back in the past. There's this thing called dark energy which is the opposite of gravity, and that's why it's expanding. Gravity is a sort of force that pulls two objects together. Dark energy is a force that acts as opposite of gravity. So basically, it pulls things um, away from each other. And it turns out Albert Einstein, back in 1917, realized that if the universe was full of this stuff, it would make his version of gravity, and he's how we understand gravity now, not Isaac Newton, but uh, Einstein. His version of gravity would make, would actually work in reverse with this stuff. So the atoms that you and I are made out of, gravity pulls us together. But dark energy pushes things apart. Fortunately, 
here on Earth, there's a lot more atoms than there is dark energy because our part of the universe collapsed because of gravity billions of years ago. So right here in this room, for every atom, well, for every piece of dark matter or dark energy, there are is a one with 30 zeros behind it atoms. So a lot of atoms. So that's why we're, things aren't flowing apart here. It's because our part of the universe, there's a lot of gravity that pulls. It's only in that vastness of space. Remember how far apart those stars were? Well, then think of all the space between galaxies. There's a lot of places where there are is almost nothing except for this dark energy. And so that's where it can add up and start pushing things apart.